Hi. Let's take a small concept related to the cardiovascular physiology. The effect of catecholamines on the cardiovascular functioning. Catecholamines and uh, increased sympathetic discharge, the sympathetic innervation is known to be excitatory to the heart. So these catecholamines, sympathetic uh, nerves or adrenergic drugs, they have this excitatory effect which is uh, denoted or defined in terms of positive chronotropic effect. They increase the heart rate. Now, even as they increase the heart rate, the positive chronotropic effect, catecholamines and sympathetic nerves, they are also known to increase the stroke volume. How is that possible? The point here is that increased heart rate by the catecholamines that will reduce the cardiac cycle duration as we are aware as the heart rate goes on increasing, the duration of each beat, the cardiac cycle length will go on decreasing. Shorter and shorter cardiac cycles. Shorter cardiac cycles would mean decreased systole duration and decreased diastole duration. Both of these durations will also decrease. Now, check that. Decreased systole duration. So less time is available for the heart or uh, to, for the ventricle to eject out the stroke volume. And yet we are saying that catecholamines and sympathetic nerves, they can increase the stroke volume. How is that possible? Also, diastole duration is shorter. In fact, at higher heart rates, diastole suffers more than systole. So diastole duration shortened means what? filling would be affected and if the filling is affected ventricular filling is affected less the filling less would be the stroke volume frank starling law greater the filling during diastole greater would be the stroke volume in next systole frank starling law because greater filling during the diastole would mean greater stretch on the ventricular muscle fiber and that means its length increases by the end of the diastole it's greater and then it ejects out more amount of blood because it produces a stronger contraction. So Starling's law or in the case of heart Frank Starling law. Less the filling it, the law also means less the filling less would be the stroke volume. So since catecholamines are increasing the heart rate diastole duration is shortened and therefore filling should be affected and if the filling is affected again the stroke volume uh, in the next cardiac cycle should be affected it should be less but no we are saying that catecholamines in the face of both of these changes they are known to increase the stroke volume how is that achieved let's try to understand catecholamines apart from the positive inotropic uh, positive chronotropic effect also are known to have positive inotropic effect increased myocardial contractility they produce a stronger contraction of the myocardium during systole and then during diastole they are known to have positive lucitropic effect lucitropic effect is the relaxability and diastolic function. Even that is have enhanced under the influence of catecholamines and sympathetic discharge. So let's try to understand what these effects are. Let's consider the systole first. We've said that catecholamines, they increase the heart rate. Therefore, systole diastole duration are shortened because cardiac cycle duration itself and uh, beat duration, heartbeat duration itself has been shortened. So, systole duration has reduced, yet the stroke volume is increased. 
mind you the duration to eject out the blood is less and yet in that less duration of systole greater stroke volume is pumped out how is that made possible by catecholamines and adrenergic drugs or sympathetic nerves is that the catecholamines they uh, increase the rate of peak tension development increase the rate of uh, tension development during systole so it means the ventricular fiber which is contracting during systole will generate a greater peak tension a stronger contraction and peak tension will be developed in a lesser time duration in the lesser time duration of systole it will generate a uh, greater amount of tension in the ventricular muscle fiber how is that possible that's because catecholamines act via uh, some enzymes the cyclic amp dependent kinases and these enzymes are known to cause phosphorylation of certain proteins in the cardiac muscle fibers particularly um, of our interest is l type voltage gated calcium channel l type voltage gated calcium channel is present in the sarcolemma uh, of the myocardial fiber the myocardial fiber membrane has this channel and calcium enters through this channel and triggers further calcium which initiates the muscle contraction which initiates the actin myosin interaction in the uh, cardiac muscle fiber now catecholamines by activating those cyclic amp dependent uh, kinases protein kinases will act on this channel phosphorylation of this protein would allow a better calcium trigger a greater amount of calcium trigger or also called as calcium sparks during the excitation of the myocardial fiber and uh, with subsequent contraction of the myocardial fiber the amount of calcium available in the sarcoplasm would be greater and greater the amount of calcium in the sarcoplasm we all aware we are all aware that stronger is the muscle contraction better will be the actin myosin interdigitation and if better actin myosin interdigitation would mean greater generation of tension peak tension developed uh, per unit time is much higher under the influence of catecholamines so uh, dp by dt a greater pressure developed uh, per unit time is much higher under the influence of catecholamines via this mechanism that they make the more amount of calcium available better cross bridge cycling in the myocardial muscle fiber stronger contraction developed in a shorter duration of systole so even though the duration is shorter greater stroke volume can be ejected out under the influence of catecholamines now coming to the diastole catecholamines because they increase the heart rate they are decreasing the diastole duration as well cardiac cycle duration at itself has reduced and therefore diastole is shortened in fact at higher heart rates diastole suffers more than systole diastole duration is shortened to a greater extent and which means what which means filling should be affected ventricular filling should be affected and if the filling is less because diastole duration was less then stroke volume should have been less because uh, frank starling law less the filling less would be the stroke volume because then fiber was stretched less during the diastole the ventricular fiber here too catecholamines are acting uh, in order to not change uh, the filling ventricular filling in fact ventricular filling can be enhanced even with shorter diastole duration 
let's see how uh, in the cardiac muscle fiber there are there is a sarcotubular system as we all are aware the t tubules and l tubules and uh, in the l tubule membrane there is this protein called as sarca sarcoplasmic endoplasmic reticulum calcium ATPase. It's a calcium ATPase which sends the calcium back from the sarcoplasm uh, into the tubule, back into the L-tubule again into the terminal cisternae and it brings about muscle relaxation. So this is a sarca. It brings about the muscle relaxation. Now, there is a protein associated with sarca which is called as Phospholamban. Phospholamban is a sarca associated protein in the cardiac muscle particularly. This is specific unique to the cardiac muscle fiber and this phospholamban is known to keep a check on, on the sarca. And therefore what happens is the rate of calcium removal from the sarcoplasm is slightly lesser under normal circumstances because of the action of phospholamban on the sarca. Catecholamines by activating those cyclic AMP dependent protein kinases they cause phosphorylation of this phospholamban. Phosphorylation of the phospholamban would mean that it's inhibition or its check on the sarca will be lifted and that means there will be a rapid removal of calcium from the sarcoplasm. If there is a rapid removal of calcium from the sarcoplasm that means the rate of relaxation would be faster because calcium has been removed rapidly from the sarcoplasm. So that means even if the diastole duration has been shortened because increased heart rate Therefore, diastole duration was shorter. Even if that duration was shorter, yet the ventricular fiber, fiber can relax normally or to, a, to an even greater extent during the diastole. So, short duration, yet relaxation is better or greater. And that means filling. When we are talking about the diastole, we are talking about the ventricular filling ventricular filling will not be affected if the ventricular filling will not be affected in fact because of a greater removal of calcium the ventricular filling will be much more even if the diastole duration is short filling is better and if the filling is better then frank starling law more the filling more is the stroke volume with the next systole so therefore this is called as a positive leucotropic effect. So catecholamines have positive leucotropic effect as well. They have positive inotropic effect, increase myocardial contractility, strength of contraction increases and during diastole the relaxability and diastolic function also uh, increases or moderated, modulated by the catecholamines, adrenergic drugs or sympathetic nerves that's how even by increasing the heart rate they can increase the stroke volume as well